Lucy, Andra. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the Love Villa. Thank you. Thank you. Now, first of all, I'm going to celebrate you. And we celebrate by lubricating our throats. Sure. Okay. Yes. To love. To love. Love. Cheers. 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 To love, darling. You didn't even look at me. <laughs> Sorry. That's seven years of bad luck. <laughs> we, we don't want that. It's not even bad luck. It's bad sex, friend, which is worse than That's bad luck. That's what I meant. Is that even possible? I don't think so. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> oh, 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 brother. Brother does what needs to be done when things need to be done. Oh my god. Yes, hey. friend. It's really you, man. No. <laughs> this is the very point of why you're here. What sparked this relationship? Because the way we found out is you guys were like, let us tell you a little something there on the gram, a little something there on the gram. You're like, no, what is it? And then you're like, okay, we'll stop messing with you. Well, we met on a, a dating app. Yeah, I had the app in the States. So when I moved or when I got stuck here with the vid, yeah. I still had the app and then I was scrolling and then I saw Goiti on the app and I swiped. Oh. I was just like, yeah, something new, someone new, someone I've never interacted with really. But also, more than anything, I had a huge crush on him because <laughs> I would see him in the gym and I'd always ask my, my uh, trainer, like, who is that guy? He thinks he's like the hottest thing ever. But in my mind, I'm like, oh my God, look at me. Look at me, please. And then when I realized that he had connected with me, I was like, oh my gosh. And I was like, oh my God, what do you do? So where are you based? I knew damn well. <laughs> I mean, my plan was to go back. Right. You know, I'd made Los Angeles home. Yeah. And since meeting Boiti, I think I've sold all of it. <laughs> so I, I stayed. Guys, I want us to warm up a little bit because we're getting to know each other, right? Okay. I want to start you with one of my traditional things that happens at this villa, right? Mm -hmm. I have a game called the Intimacy Card Game. So if you can step into my card office over there, take your drinks with you, have some fun. Go. Sweet. For love. Mm -hmm. What a couple doesn't know is that we have eyes and ears watching how they communicate verbally and non-verbally. And that is Dr. Mbume, our intimacy expert, who will tell us what she reads when she sees the couple interact. <laughs> I'll start. Yeah. I don't even know what in yeah. the hell we're doing. It's okay. It's a mystery. Why do you love me? <laughs> Who says I? I can't. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, <my laughs> <laughs> what? Okay, let me hold it while you answer. I love you because you are you're authentic. You're very funny. You're exceptionally talented. Beautiful. Breathtakingly beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, your turn. I'm up. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, what do my lips taste like? What do they taste like? <laughs> what? what? <laughs> they taste like protein powder. Yup. Yeah. <laughs> really? What do lips taste like? Yeah, I know that they're taste? juicy. What yeah. do they taste though? They taste good. Like? Like you. <laughs> What's one public place where you would want to do it? Yeah. I know an elevator maybe. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, you know that fantasy in the film, in the movie, <laughs> when they always like pause? I'll just keep that in mind. <laughs> Your turn. Cool. Um, if your lovemaking could be described by a weather event or natural disaster, what would it be? There's water involved, there's waterworks involved. <laughs> okay, good, I'll take it. Uh, what are some of the things I can do outside the bedroom to keep the feelings of intimacy going all day? It doesn't have to be like nudes or anything like that, but just, or maybe like a little something, like a little picture and something lacy or, or hints at, you know, what, what I'm coming home to. Or, okay, um, your turn. What is the most memorable moment we've had together? I think the time we spent at my grandmother's birthday mm. will always be a standout because, yeah, it just showed me the reality mm. and the authentic side of it and, you know, the things that matter when all the fluff is taken away. Would you be open to introducing sex toys to our sex life and how do you think this would enhance our sexual experience? 100%. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I didn't have any no. toys growing up. I might as well have them now. Wow. In my, <laughs> in, in my older age. I actually did ask... What? We're not going to say what it was. Yeah. I was like, can I get this? Would you be willing? And you were like, ah. No, but that was like... <laughs> That's a toy. Yeah, but not shit on me. But it was a suggestion. So see, I was there. My mind was there. I was like, this would be so dope. That shop is not open for like... business. 
But yeah, yeah, I think going back to the question, like, yeah, toys are great. Well then, Snoopy. Cool. Well done. Ah, uh, guys, Uboitinu Anton, I absolutely love them. Baya Fanilana, Baya Tandana, they balance each other out. If I say so myself, this one is for keeps. Welcome back, beloved. Thank you. <laughs> you look like the card didn't, game didn't drop you or break you. Or... <laughs> well, it was actually better than I thought it would be. Ah. That was good. That was cool. I was actually nervous. I was like, hey. But it was actually very insightful. It's really? cool. I feel like I know you now. Oh, wow. <laughs> ah, You're ah, such ah, a clown. Ah. <laughs> I didn't really know you before today. <laughs> didn't know you liked my lips that much. I do. Yeah. No shame to it. They're very nice. And I'm saying this on a professional. <laughs> okay. All due respect, yeah. she's yeah. correct. They feel oh, better. Very attractive. Yeah, I'm going to wear my glasses so I can see you probably. Look, I have to confess, I did watch um, behind the scenes while you guys were playing your card game. Yeah. Your comfort with each other. And until you were right, mm. it left me going, exactly how long have these guys been together? It's actually weird. It's almost two years. Yeah, but we've put a few years into these two years. I swear. But, uh, you know, going into it, I won't say that I was like the most optimistic about relationships. Relationships was not my thing. Yeah. yeah. Like, I, now it just sounds like I choked, I choked him into this place. <laughs> like... <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> no, but, but you guys on there, yeah. <laughs> And then, and then what happened? What made you stay in Paris now? Because I mean, see, oh like, what, where, where was the switch? Tell me about the moment the switch hit where you went, dang, yee, yee, if I let this one go, I'm undoing myself. From the get go. From the get go, yeah. <laughs> I think that's also like how I knew it was different because yeah. before it was like, hey, don't leave that toothbrush here. Yes. <laughs> Do you guys feel like now that everybody knows about you and eyes are on you, do you ever sometimes find yourself slipping into relationship in a certain way? We know people enjoy seeing us when we post it. It's really mm. cool. And to a certain extent, it's all, yeah, it's also mainly for social. But you don't want to smother people with that. You know? No, you don't want to. It wanna, becomes annoying. It becomes like, sickening yeah, okay, and it's it. like, oh my God, keep on it happy. And then also to answer your question, like, I mean, we're still human at the end of the day, mm. you know? I mean, sometimes when we have to do these videos or these campaigns, like, you know, like two seconds before all that we were totally muffed out with each other <laughs> like yeah you kind of suck right now yeah like hello guys <laughs> Hi. actually okay, so this is the love of Anton. my life love you so much. as soon as as soon as <laughs> when we cut it's, it's just like, like away from me for a second just go yeah. <laughs> so a lot of people can relate yeah, yeah. I, I'm sorry I'm one of the fans who DM you and be like this y'all haven't posted in a month we miss you um, what I'm gonna do now is now that I've heard how y'all love each other let's hear from someone who loves the both of y'all Ooh, got a little sam sam for you a little surprise if you could just feast your eyes there on my screen well I can't say we are friends but we are friends just as much as I, uh, I'm a mother, Corey is just a child a kind of relationship whereby we can talk about each and everything. When she started dating, she shared the info with me. Uh, I first saw him more, more pitching, obviously, because she was like, hey, this is the guy that I met. And I was like, mm, he looks like a player. You know, I eventually warmed up to the idea because I was like, he's, he looks very respectful, very kind and very loving, especially towards Bitumelo. So you can tell Jorge she's happy, which is something that I did not see in previous relationships. I could tell Jorge she was not happy. And also my, my, my vibe, I mean, taking a go So, you know, spiritually, I could tell Jorge is, is, is a good spirited person as well. My relationship with Anton is just like, you know, mother, a son kind of relationship because he respects me that much. He actually calls me mother. The nice things were, first, firstly, was that every week for the past year, Anton and Amorika Lamablom, that was like, <laughs> my child, Grilu Mutunyan. Dating in the public, you, I hate it. I can't. I cannot. Go if I wish. Like, but but you couldn't without anybody knowing what is going on. Because the more public the relationship, the harder it is. I have seen them. Actually, they came to me and told me they were having this 
this um, squabbling and I kill one. And then I sent them both down. Guys, this is the situation. Relationships are not easy. Without proper communication, without respect, without loyalty, your relationship is just not going to go nowhere. So they, they took it from there. And since that time, they haven't come to me and told me Jorge, they're having uh, problems since after that one, one, one incident. I would hope for the go to an extent of getting married. If they're destined to be together, they will be together. If not, it's honestly not up to me. Lena, I cannot even do that magic one thing, you know, even if I wanted to. I don't want them. <laughs> oh my God. Amazing. <laughs> that is beautiful. <laughs> but hello, now you guys are so hectic. So what's it like to be welcomed like this Amazing. by a mother who's watched her daughter be hurt? It's like, it's not a pressure, but it's, you know, it's heartwarming and it kind of, you know, you don't want to, not like, not let anybody down, but it's like, up. <laughs> I'm blue it. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I, I listen, I love uh, Boiti's mom, I love Boiti. They are family to me, so it's, it's beautiful to see that in that light because yeah. these aren't things that you hear every day but yeah it's nice another fun fact while you guys were playing games um it wasn't just me spying on you so we have big sister watching in the form of our intimacy expert and her name is dr Mpume. Hey, and she will be joining us you are not legs for days yes, forever aye, 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 friend aye, aye. did i mention she's a sex expert as well <laughs> yeah some whoops cracking <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Oh, snack. Hello. Yo, you oh, look you, amazing. Oh, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Great, thank Hello. you. I'm sorry. How are you, ma'am? I'm very well, thanks. And you're so good. good He's to a see keeper. You. Oh, is he? Totally. Is he? Totally. Yeah. What's up? <laughs> guys, it is so good to have you. I wanted to just say, boy, first of all, you guys have such a kindness, and that is such a strength. I think I saw you go back and forth between opening up, closing down. You know, you guys were quite open about, you know, sending nudes, about, your, you know, your sex life, being exciting. Until we started talking about a mysterious toy. <laughs> but it it kind of gave me that idea about stereotypes about, you know, toys are for women, maybe. Yeah. And when it comes to guys, it's like, hey, I saw that kind of a party. Exactly. <laughs> what was that about? I mean, if it was that toy, we would have done this interview standing, not sitting. Right <laughs> just put it down. Ah. Let's just put it down. Ah. Right. <laughs> It's like, it's like embarrassing. I mean, one must know one's boundaries. <laughs> I think say? you're talking about boundaries. boundaries. <laughs> exactly, exactly. That's a good one. <laughs> right. And, and I think it was just that thing of, um, you know, I often encourage couples, especially the guys, I'm like, you know, you can play a little bit, even like in the rear end, just a little bit. Take it easy, you know. Guys, yeah. one thing I definitely want to just leave you with is there is such a maturity that you guys actually have. And I don't think... The rest of South Africa has actually seen the side of you. Keep doing what you're doing. Um, the world will catch up. Thank you. Thank you. I, for myself, have something absolutely special. And I hope it will add yet another beautiful memory. I am sending you off to something that's not very foreign to you guys. High fashion, you know, take a pose. That's awesome. Yeah. What the hell is it? <laughs> okay, at least it's something that we are familiar with. It's a young, but wait. There's more. It's a young butt. I just heard butt. I also heard butt. But wait. It's a young butt. There's more. Young butt. <laughs> <laughs> but. No one understands camera angles like Boiti and Anton. So for their activity, I'm going to throw them right into a studio. I think I'll go 50 shades of Boiti. Give Boiti all the power and reign and see how Anton handles that. In a form of a photo shoot, think Vogue style meets BDSM. I mean, intimacy doesn't always have to be in the bedroom. And I want to see how they handle this experience. I love the way 
boy, you are just. <laughs> what type of punishment am I Anton, getting, getting into you. today? Like you've got the most intense, beautiful energy, but for this particular activity, I think I'm gonna hand over the power to girl power. It's Is about time. We're gonna do an amazing <laughs> photo shoot. I want you guys to enjoy this, but like I said, I'm handing over the power over to you, my darling. Um, it's got Vogue style, sexy, sassy, like spank that. So who's the, is she doing the spanking? Of course, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, guys, please have fun, enjoy the moment, and I hope this is something absolutely memorable for you. I'm gonna step out. Boiti, you got this girl. I guess this right. Thanks, okay. Doc. Help. You know, you've got your stronghold there with the oh. tongue. On a serious note, guys, thank you. Thank you for trusting me. Yeah. Thank you for trusting my team. Without too many words, here's a little gift from us. Doesn't look say, little. Thank you for taking out. Lovely. Yeah. So. You gave us your time. Matchy matchy with me. Look at this. Yes, that is part of the gift already, Oof. as you can imagine. Yeah. Please open the box. I love, yes, I love. Yes. It. Yes. it. You know when you gift people, you want to see how they react to the gift. Like, yes, open my present. Oh, there is a love note inside okay. which Anton will read us because I go, go, we know. The eyes are gone. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Whoa. That's what, that I'm, that's what I'm talking about. My eyes are not working. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> you, Guys, <laughs> this is a monologue. I definitely so, can't read that, actually. Congratulations on completing your experience at the Sunday Sexy Love Villa. Thank you for trusting us with your love. In this box are few aphrodisiacs, treats and tricks to keep the heat in your love and most importantly in the bedroom. Ooh. Lean into your romance and remember love and intimacy lives here. XOXO Sunday Sexy Love. Thank Aww. you so much. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Diggy, 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 diggy. See what you got. See what you got. See what you got. Oh, I'm going to look at this one. Choose. <laughs> what is this little apparatus? <laughs> apparatus? 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 Yeah. Apparatus? Yeah. 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 There's more. But who? I love how they go up with the pots. <laughs> of Just course. I mean, I chose some more wet. And then yellow mm. boots. Oh. We'll be arresting this each other This is cute. Daily. This looks like it's only gonna fit my wrist yeah. though. Aye, friend, that thing is adjustable. It's adjustable. It's just for the wrist. Oh, daddy! <laughs> okay, daddy. <laughs> okay, daddy. <laughs> We've also got some chocolate in there for you to enjoy. This is so awesome. Body painting! Yes, and a chocolate, <gasps> friend. Chocolate. You do know that in the bedroom, there's only one way to remove chocolate from the body. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's got a great tongue, so... <laughs> oh, does he? <laughs> spoon. Oh. <laughs> what kind of food? <laughs> Uncle Anton, can you open the champagne for oh, us in yeah, the meantime while, while she's checking things out so we can toast? I want to see. I want us to toast to oh, your love. Thinking. So enjoy, enjoy. Oh, amazing. There's even a feather boa this in there. This is the dopest the show I've ever wear. been on. I'm not even joking. <laughs> this is some wild <laughs> But I get it. <laughs> and uh, Brian, so you will find that uh, what's really cool about these toys is you are central to the operation of these toys. Oh, oh so yes. I'm at the helm. Very much operating. So. Yes. Lena, you must. Ooh, I'm very excited. Good. <laughs> <laughs> so really, guys, but thank you. you. Fanta. <laughs> as a fanta. As a fanta, But I genuinely Not a fanta. have Wait, enjoyed you. To Anton and Boise. Yay! Yeah, to you. us, and to you. Thank you. Thank you. Fantastic show. Awesome show. Yeah. Yes. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Thank you. Oh, so dope. Cheers, Cheers darling. Mm. Oh. <sighs> Bolav. 
we have come to the end of another sumptuous episode of Sunday Sexy Love. Yeah, how nice is it though to be a part or maybe to witness such a young budding love that looks like it's going to blossom into a lifelong companionship. Let me leave you with this one thought. Young love is two hearts with only one thing in mind. <laughs> My name is Tumi Marake. Thank you for indulging us on Sunday Sexy Love. Good night.